Hey everyone, welcome to setting up a path and connection. Previously, we looked at working with the workflow manager. Now we'll be setting up a path and executing the workflow that we create. We'll be learning how to define the properties of our source and target before we execute the workflow and make data flow from source to target. We need to define some properties in the session task. These properties enable session task to pick data from source and then load the data into the target. The mapping which we created in Mapping Designer is only the structural representation of source, target and transformation as per our requirement. Actual data movement happens only in the workflow manager screen for which properties we need, for which properties we need to define in the session task. To define the properties, select the particular workflow and identify the session task, through which you'll be executing mapping. Double-click on the session task to open the properties windows. You can see there are various properties configuration objects and other components, which are present in session task. We'll see all these options later. Now click on the mapping tab in session task. The mapping tab specifies source, target, and transformation level information. The mapping tab of the session task lets you define properties for source and target. First, we'll define the properties for source. Once you click on the source and mapping tab, you'll see under the readers it has mentioned file reader, this indicates our source is a flat file. If our source is a database table, this property in place of file reader will be defined as relational reader. The next option, connections, as you can see. It's currently disabled because our source is a flat file. When our source is a database table, this option will be enabled. And you could specify the connection object. We'll discuss about this option later. Under the properties option, scroll through properties and you'll see an option called source file directory. Also, you'll see an option source file name. This directory enables you to provide the location of your source file, as well as source file option. And this option gives you space where you can define the name of your source file. Similarly, click on the target. You can see under the writers, it is clearly mentioned file writer because our target is a file. As the source, connections option is disabled because our source is again, a file. Through properties, scroll down and you'll reach a property called output file directory an output file name. Specify the name with which you want your output file to be created. Now since my file is present on my desktop, I'll define the desktop path c colon slash users slash learn well slash desktop. Then the name of my file as emp underscore file dot text. Similarly, define target location where your target file you want to be generated. The default output file directory pm target file dir is the default target file directory. This is what Informatica creates while the installation is done. We'll discuss about this option later. I define my desktop as the output file directory and I'm defining as my output file name as emp underscore file underscore target dot text. You can define any extension of your liking such as dot text, out, xls, csv, xml, or any other extension you want your output file to be created with. In this video, we learned how to define the source and target path or connection in session task in workflow. We also saw how to use the generate workflow option from designer screen.